What's going on guys, Joe with GRC here. So today we're gonna to do a little battery competition with these ones that we have in front of us here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a GoPro on top of the car so we can see how fast it goes on a stock nickel, nickel metal hydride battery, 7.2 volts. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go from a nickel metal hydride battery to a LiPo battery. So this is gonna give us a little bit more voltage. As you can see here, we've got our 7.2 volts. Then we have our LiPo, which is a 7.4 volts, 20C discharge. And maybe you're asking what the 20C is. Um, just a matter of the current that can be delivered at one given time. Uh, where this one here, our Gen Ace, it's still a 2S LiPo, just like this one here, uh, 7.4 volts, 7.4 volts. But you can see here our C rating and our milliamps an hour. Now this one's gonna have more capacity in it, which is a 5,000 over our 3,200. So if you're looking for more runtime, go with the bigger number here but if you're looking for more punch you go with this number here where it's like a 20c the higher the number the more current the battery can deliver at one time and some of them have like a, a burst and some of them have like a continuous as well so anyway that's that on that part and then we'll go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead jump to a 3s lipo which is a 11.1 volts that you see here 45c discharge it doesn't have as much discharge but it is more voltage so it's going to definitely make a huge difference quite a bit of difference and as far as how fast this car goes let me forewarn everybody here if you haven't been watching my videos before is that this car is not capable of a 3s lipo and then you're asking well why are you going to run it that way because the electronic speed controller can run on a 2 or a 3s lipo but the motor cannot it's only really rated for like let's say a 7.4 volts like we have here or 7.2 volts and it's happy everything's good on that part so giving it more voltage means it's going to run a lot hotter it's going to probably burn stuff up and uh but i've run it before but we'll see because the temperatures are pretty hot here but um anyway our really our main focus is going to be these three batteries here so let's go ahead let's get started see what happens all right so first run will be on the nickel metal hydride battery i already moved the jumper to uh nickel metal so i'm gonna go ahead let's do our first run see how fast it goes So now on to the lipo. I've moved the, the setting on the lipo. So I got the jumper in the right spot. Um, and I rearranged stuff on here, taking some stuff off and rearranging it to different locations just to keep the motor a little bit cooler. So that's the reason why it's more function than a uh, fashion. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right, so now on to the 2S lipo. That's the Hexfly 3200. Yeah, definitely a difference there. So this one is the Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp 50C discharge. It's flipped upside down just because of where the connection is. I didn't want it to rub up onto the actual drive shaft. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right, so this has the Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp battery in it. Let's go ahead and see if it makes a difference as far as the speed on it with a 50C discharge. All right, so this one, I, this is a 3S LiPo that you can see in there. 3S LiPo, 45C discharge, 5,000 milliamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this one. So this one's gonna be a lot quicker, or should be quite a bit quicker 
than the 2S or the nickel metal hydro battery. So let's go ahead and get this thing going, see how this one runs. Oh, it's the drive shaft that's in there. It's a little plastic one that's in there right now. Hey, I thought that's a lot better. Yeah. What it is is that uh, they haven't come out with the upgrade for it, but you can probably rig something up or whatever. But How yeah. All right guys, so when it comes to the batteries here, so we knew that the nickel metal hydride battery, well in my case I knew it was gonna be a little bit slower, just didn't know how slow it would be. So as far as this 3000 milliamp an hour, 7.2 volts, it went 20 miles an hour. Then the next one up would be the uh, Hexfly here, 3200 LiPo. Uh, it went 23 miles an hour, not bad at all. Uh, the one thing that would kind of was curious was how much different would be this, two, this 2S 2S here, 2S here, same voltage, but as far as its 50C discharge, what if it's gonna be a little bit faster or not. In this case here, really, it was one mile an hour difference. So the Hexfly went 23, and the uh, Gen's Ace went 24 miles an hour. That's what I kind of picked up on. And then, of course, last but not least, would be the 3S LiPo, which just was throwing it out there, went 29 miles an hour. Now. We lost a lot of speed on this because of the fact that the drive shaft is pretty damaged by it was rubbing up on my wires before and so there's definitely an issue on that part of it. That's probably why it's vibrating a lot more than before so it's slowing the car down quite a bit. Where before it did like 30, I think it did like 37 miles an hour stock out of the box on a 3S. So, but I think, you know, me running it and running it and running it is probably degrading that motor anyhow. But uh, the real questions were right here anyhow, so those ans those questions were answered. I, I knew the nickel metal would be slower, so now you guys know. As far as how much slower, it's going to vary depending on your application, but at least now you know that you know a LiPo is definitely a better way to go. It's going to give you a little more run time anyhow, and like I said, it's going to give you just more punch throughout the whole entire battery charge than it would be on a nickel metal hydride. Like I said, it's going to keep going degrading when you're running the nickel metal hydride versus the lipo so anyway hope they answered some questions pretty good little i i kind of liked it just to kind of know you know how much different one would be over the other so anyway if you guys are new here definitely consider subscribing also check out our omgrc.com website also go ahead and sign up for our newsletter that way you can get our promotions and what have you and as always i appreciate you guys watching leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of this video might help me out a little bit. Maybe it helps one of you guys out as well. So I definitely appreciate it. Until next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching.